area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Geechee Gotti versus Rum Nitty. Yo, this joint, I ain't gonna hold you. This battle right here was fucking stupid. Like, to see them go at it for a hundred grand, a hundred and fifty grand. Drake put fifty extra thousand dollars on it. I already knew I had a feeling in my heart that they was gonna split that bread anyway. They both EFB, they both worked super hard to get there. They both had a lot of dope material. And to see them split that kind of bag, 75, 75,000? Yo, that shit was crazy, son. Like Rum Nitty was in his bag. Geechee Gotti goes first. I got some bars from both, you know what I'm saying? I definitely got bars from both. Uh, Geechee Gotti, the only thing I'm splitting is this nigga dome. I was standing over the bodies watching eyes roll back. You ain't gotta believe me, rum the 80s proof. Drinking buds, we go from drinking buds to smoking rum. He said last week I, I called him, I showed him Stephen A. Crip. Now you ain't gonna skip past Bay Less. I got something sharp with you. Geechee Gotti had a phenomenal first round, but Rum Nitty comes out in his first round. This nigga was in his baggington. Rum Nitty, you should have turned into the Old Bay. You changed the nuts, now you pussy. Tom Brady, Aaron Hernandez, you playing with a killer. Tom Brady, Aaron Hernandez, you playing with a killer. Bar was fire. Bullets raced by his ass, you gonna need a bigger tree. Mortal Kombat. You gonna see me duck before I give up a cut? That was fire. Uh, if he survived his headshot, I hope he don't remember a thing in case he looked at me. That shit, yo, first round, both of these niggas was wild. Not gonna hold you. Um, I gave the first round to Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty had some fire in his bag. He got it started off hot. He had different points in his round where he was cooking too, but Rum Nitty's first round was undeniable. I'm gonna just go to the third round. Third round, uh, Geechee got his third round. He was definitely in a different bag. The homies in the whips right now are circling Bay like you've been doing this battle, saying that they're circling Rum Nitty's girl like you've been doing this whole battle. I thought that that was fire. Uh, drug, cause you responsible for the way Rico act. He was talking about a, a dude named Rico who disrespect Nipsey, but he's saying you getting drug for the way Rico act. I thought that was fire. What's the use of having a pen if everything you ain't in your manuscript, you, everything ain't real when the manuscript, that shit was crazy. Um, they respect your vision cause I see better than, they don't respect your vision cause I see better than you. Uh, we had a black and white girl look like we was selling Vixen. Drake sponsoring the trap, these Aubrey Grams. Geechee got his third round was crazy. I kind of felt like Nitty's third round was cool, but it ended kind of abruptly. Um, Big Loke hitting the crypto like Bitcoin. Uh, first, you got to have a heart and fade like Drake cut. He had the Gullah Gullah Island line. Uh, they say I'm holding my brother back because I shot a minute. That's <laughs> Nitty, Nitty. Supreme MC with a lot of dope lyrics, man. Uh, I had Geechee got it winning the third. Nitty second round. I mean, Geechee second round. Uh... You ain't got to roll with that crap. This ain't a dice game. He was punching the clock his whole career. Your manager told you put suicide. That job had you wanting to kill yourself. Trying to get out the way. No escape. Like, who can I run to? Oh, this nigga said the line about the Celtics. I buck and sell ticks. I buck heat. I buck heat and sell ticks. I'm Ray Allen with it. Yo, Geechee's phenomenal talent, man. Uh, Rum Nitty second. You got 100K in that bag right there. Hit him with the paid in full line. Uh, the only thing about that's going to be buddy-buddy about this is friendly fire. The best angles I take is the one surveillance don't catch. Uh, it's enough in this bitch to lay a room down, no studio in. He said, I'll take a blade and carve a nut 300 ways. It's Black History Month. Oh my goodness. He said, uh, <laughs> this is like Loso versus Jay West because my day one getting aired, but they're going to show it tomorrow. 
overall phenomenally fire battle. Um, you could have Geechee Gotti winning. A lot of people have Rum Nitty winning. I got Battle Rap Culture winning. For 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 that kind of money, that them boys split down the middle. That was a that was a dope decision. That was a dope. That was a hundred thousand dollar battle. There was no chokes. There was no stumbles. There was no slips. There was none of that. These boys put on. Them boys put on. I mean, you got to be proud of what they did. I got no qualms in it, man. Like that was some dope shit. Like like for real. If you're a battle rap fan, to see them put on like that with the um, immense amount of pressure that was there to perform under the bright lights and have punches and, and Rum Nitty was in his bag with the movements and the motions and he's wigging all through his shit. I mean, I, I sell ticks and buck heat. I'm Ray Allen with it. Like, Geechee Gotti is a special talent. Uh, Rum Nitty is a special talent. To see all of them folks put on like that, that shit was pretty dope, man. And you got to give a lot of respect props and admiration to all parties involved because to see them do that on the highest level and then right there admit that they was going to split it and the thing that i thought was dope even though they split it they didn't short us they didn't just come out there and just be like whoop de woo blah zay, blah and just spit some bullshit and get and not and not give the battle rap culture what it deserved they definitely gave the battle rap culture what it deserved and i'm gonna just be honest with you that joint is gonna be one of them joints that's gonna be a classic i think that Geechee Gotti vs. Rum Nitty for that 100k, that joint should drop on YouTube. I think everybody should be privy to see that. I mean, I know the app is going to get it too, but that should be a battle that the whole world gets to see to show the levels that battle rap has grown to get to a point where these guys could literally have a rap battle for 75,000 apiece. That's got to be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Drake was like, I couldn't make it to the, I couldn't log on the app or what I couldn't see it, so he popped up and showed up there. Like, how could you not respect that? You know what I'm saying? If you can't respect that, your whole perspective is whack. Like, Caffeine put on, URL put on, they did what they did. I got no qualms about it. But Geechee Gatti, Rum Nitty, a lot of punches, a lot of dope shit we saw today. But other than that, you already know what it is. Gang. I, I don't, I, I don't know what just transpired i don't know what occurred I, I didn't write nothing down i i just enjoyed a hundred and fifty thousand dollar battle i thoroughly enjoyed a war i am thoroughly impressed with the main event what's good josh your boy showtime has paid nobody that knows bodies Bow! it's nobody here it's nobody here but i don't know i had to i had to i had to i had to make sure that i wasn't tripping because i i had to i had to pull my mans in there you know what i'm saying like i had to i had to drag my bro into this because he was like man i ain't doing nothing tonight let me just watch this what do you think about that last battle, bro? Fire. Thank you. That's all I needed to hear. This battle is fire. This battle is propane, gasoline, kerosene, oil. It's a lamp light. It's a tiki torch. It is a lighter. It is a candle lighter. It is a blow torch. It is whatever you want this battle to be. Geechee Gotti vs. Rum Nitty put on for the culture. Thank you for that. Geechee Gotti vs. Rum Nitty probably is going to be the battle of the year. I'm I'm not gassing it. I'm not gassing it. Who you got winning this battle? Hmm? Who you got winning this battle? I don't know. I don't know. Because I, I can't be a fan. And then I can't be somebody who calls it straight down the middle and call myself being biased. As I'm recording this right now, I'm about to watch who won this battle by the judges. But I got to give it to you because you know they're about to do all nine of them niggas is about to talk. So I really want to hear the banter between them two. 
I just want to say that we have a war. Thank you, Geechee, Gotti, and Rum Nitty for making it all the way to the finals and making this the best Ultimate Madness finals that we have ever seen. Thank you, Geechee, Gotti, and Rum Nitty for making this battle worth $100,000. Thank you, Drake, for coming in here and adding a little bit more brain to this battle. I just wanted to make sure, because you knew that this was going to be some smoke. Even though to say who you thought was going to make it all the way to, we're not going to get past that. I'm... Um, if I have to be a fan, if I have to be a fan, and I gotta call it down the middle, I honestly think that I'm gonna give this battle to Rum Nitty first and the third. The punches after punches was working. Geechee Gotti had every fucking bar. But what Geechee Gotti did in the second round is that he pulled an angle that was overused with Walmart, but he made it sound so good. Made it sound amazing. It made it sound immaculate. Made it sound like I ain't never heard it before. I'm spinning the block on this one, too. I'm home now. I was on vacation. I was chilling. Had to get things right. Now everything is right, so now I gotta get back to the things that niggas had to Right. I'm going to get this right. I got I got I got I got I got Rum Nitty winning this battle, but I will not be mad at all if Geechee Gotti wins this battle. Cause this one is a war. This one was one of them ones. Thank you, brothers. I needed that. I done got high off this shit. This the re-rock. Hey, Paco, I need the boat.